Beachgoers on the Spanish coast are baffled after a mysterious 13-foot creature washed up on shore. Is it some kind of sea monster? Either way, it's one of the larger mysteries going on, and it has this pale, ghostly white, creepy, just disturbing look to it. Standing on the riverbanks, people often capture moments, creatures, and phenomena that they never expected to find there. Imagine seeing this creature emerge from the depths of a swamp at midnight, long locks extending to its feet, slowly emerging from the water. It looks like a swamp monster. Some even joked it's a real-life gossamer, or Bigfoot. But this isn't a mythical creature finally making an appearance. It's just a poor sloth that's simply getting out of the water after a relaxing soak. The water weighed down its hide, giving it a glossy look and its natural speed made it much scarier than it really is. Indonesian Cthulhu Beachgoers in Indonesia discovered this behemoth washed ashore. The mysterious creature had clearly passed away, and parts of its spine were exposed. Some locals believed it was the mythical creature Cthulhu that had somehow perished and drifted ashore, while others suggested it was a whale's carcass. Well, I looked into it, and I think it's a baleen whale. Although most whales quickly sink to the bottom, this one stayed on the shore for a while. Russian Mystery A couple of Russian beachgoers discovered a mysterious creature embedded in the sand. <laughs> the creature had a weird, stocky frame, but one end of it extended into a long tail at the end of which was a claw-like appendage. The beachgoers gently nudged it with their feet to check what it was, but couldn't come up with any answers. Honestly, I tried to find what it was, but I've never seen anything like it. It could be the carcass of a whale-like creature that washed ashore due to the waves, but I'm not really sure, because it looks like it has a slightly hairy body. Let me know what you think in the comments. Mysterious River Creature This mysterious creature was seen swimming in the Araguaya River and was captured on camera by a couple of tourists who were exploring the river. The monstrous creature made splashes along the river and was going as fast as the boat. Although Brazilian rivers are loaded with anacondas, the unique way this creature swam close to the water surface without emerging upwards, combined with its impressive speed, makes many residents become believers in the mythical Loch Ness Monster. Well, what do you think? Devilish Fish A fisherman took to the Amazon River to bait a delicious lunch, but he didn't expect to find this. eerily reptilian mouth might fool you into thinking it's a snake, and with the number of slithery creatures that emerge from the area, it's not a silly idea either. But this black creature extended into a fish-like body, with fins over its body. It's got teeth that are in sheaths like cat claws. The prehistoric-looking creature is the black piranha, also known as the red-eye piranha. Although they're quite prevalent to the Amazon, they're equally elusive, so only a few are lucky enough to catch them. That is a proper piranha. But I wouldn't recommend holding it like that unless you're a professional. That's a piranha and a half. Because these creatures are known to have the strongest bite relative to body weight ever. The biting power of a fish this size. A risky touch. This is one brave man. To come across a colossal anaconda is one thing. To cradle it as it goes by is another. This anaconda was spotted in Lake Palmas on the southeastern coast in Brazil. Although Brazil isn't new to anacondas, this one is one of the biggest in the area, since it measures more than 20 feet. That's uncomfortably big. And look at the waves it's making. Although most snakes are able to remain hidden underwater, this anaconda's huge size simply gives it away. Port Blair Giant 
A group of tourists were cruising along the waters at Port Blair in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands when they saw this huge saltwater crocodile resting on part of a sunken rock. Judging by the looks, this croc probably measures over 23 feet and weighs over 2,500 pounds. Local residents call this reptilian creature the Port Blair Giant and assume it might be the biggest saltwater crocodile seen in India. You can even see it from a distance. Proving this creature is one you should definitely stay away from. A Monster Croc A group of tourists were exploring a river, which seemingly seemed unexciting at first. But then, the tour guide spotted something amidst the lily pads calmly floating on the waves. And a few seconds later, a giant crocodile was captured swimming below the shallow waves. The crocodile is estimated to be at least 16 feet long, or even more. And judging by the way it rocked the boat, it probably weighs a ton too. Leviathan Creature Watch this fisherman single-handedly pull a giant anaconda out of the water. The fisherman was exploring a river with a couple of friends when he saw an anaconda's tail poke out of the water. Almost instantly, he'd grabbed the tail, pulling the anaconda out so he could see its humongous figure. His wife and friends kept asking him to let go, but he kept a firm grip until he finally decided to let the anaconda slither away into the unknown. Although I'm not really sure what to call this fisherman. Brave? Stupid? Or both? The Malaysian King If you live anywhere close to water, you know there's nothing better than heading out to the dock just as the sun rises and having a cup of coffee. One local resident of Kampong, Kuantan in Selangor, Malaysia had the same thought, but then he spotted this monstrous croc casually floating by. Now you may think this croc isn't that big, but whoever filmed this was standing quite far away, so this crocodile might be as big as 20 feet. But you know what's even more impressive and scarier? The croc is humongous, but it doesn't even make a single ripple when swimming. This means the next time you dip your toes in water, there might be a croc chilling. A tiring freedom. For years, a poor crocodile in Indonesia suffered because of a tire that had wound itself around its neck. The croc couldn't take off the tire and was forced to grow through it, which only added to his pain and suffering. Locals would occasionally see the crocodile, but before the authorities arrived, it would mysteriously dive back into the waters. So, a heartwarming chase to rescue it began. Finally, rescuers located the animal, tranquilized it, and cut off the tire. Once the croc regained consciousness, it quickly receded into the water. But I bet he's quite grateful. And you wouldn't even know. Hybrid Mystery No matter how many times I replay this, I can't figure out what it is. This mysterious creature was seen swimming in a river in Singapore. It looks like a fish, but just a few seconds in, you see a rat-like tail. Honestly, it looks like one of those crossbreeding experiments gone wrong. Even marine experts were stunned since they'd never seen anything like it. Some assumed it to be a large lizard, possibly a goanna, carrying a giant fish in its mouth. Others suggested it might be the black throat monitor lizard. But honestly, I don't know. What do you think? A shocking encounter. What happens when 500 pounds meets 500 volts? A man witnessed a rare sight a gator dangerously close to an electric eel. The gator was clearly waiting for the eel to reach closer so it could get a bite. But would it survive the literal shock? 
for a second. You could see the alligator react to the current, but it kept a firm grip. The two tussled for a while, and you really can't tell who will win. But just at the end, the gator gave up and succumbed to the electricity running through the eel. Mysterious Creature This video went viral a while ago, and it's still confusing people today. With weird pointed fangs and even a snot-like body part lined with them, the creature was seen swimming and receded back into the water. What do you think? Is it just a mutilated crocodile or a prehistoric fish coming up to the shore? Underwater Nightmare a diver exploring a Brazilian river came across a giant anaconda, and it might be the biggest we've ever seen. Just the sheer size of the anaconda is terrifying. I'm quite impressed the diver decided to get this close. This apex predator is probably at least 20 feet, and its girth is easily double than what you'll usually see in the wild. So how come this diver approached the anaconda fearlessly? Well, the anaconda is probably well-fed. Anacondas are pretty ferocious, but they tend to be mild and docile when they've eaten. So the divers were quite lucky to meet one that had recently eaten. If it hadn't, we probably wouldn't be seeing this. Floridian Colossus Imagine hearing this in the middle of the night. I'd probably faint. This giant gator was seen casually making its way up the bank on Lake Kissimmee, Florida. Boaters came along this colossus while exploring the river, and once they heard its terrifying grunts, they decided to head back. And I don't blame them, just look at how huge this creature is. It probably weighs several hundred pounds, and is at least 12 to 15 feet long. Sea Serpent Lawrence Waba, a Brazilian nature documentary filmmaker, was cruising along the Formosa River in Brazil when he spotted something moving along the bank. And out emerged a giant anaconda, casually making its way into the river. Although most would run away, Waba took this as an opportunity. He put on his diving gear and dove in, calmly approaching the anaconda as if it were just a sponge. Although we see anacondas as an aggressive and terrifying creature, this one is quite calm. The anaconda elegantly swam along the riverbed and even approached the cameraman, who managed to keep his cool. Crocodilian River Would you be willing to take a dip in this river? At first, it looks just like a regular river covered in algae, but then you see that tail whipping out from the water and forcing the current. This crocodile-infested river is the Vishvamitri River, located in Vadorada, Gujarat, India. The river has so many crocodiles, a recent survey concluded there are at least six crocodiles per kilometer. That's more than a few hundred crocs in just one river. Locals typically avoid the area, but this doesn't stop the crocs, which often flood out to the main city after heavy rainfall. Well, that's another country off my travel list. Terrifying Expedition Brazilian rivers are flooded with anacondas, and although this keeps most divers away, some daredevils venture into the unknown to glimpse these majestic creatures. A diving expedition headed by Mark Gottlieb set out to Brazilian waters and captured a couple of humongous anacondas, some of which were the largest they've ever seen. Smaller anacondas measured just 10 feet, while others were 16 feet, but they also captured an 18-foot-long female anaconda and estimated it weighed more than 300 pounds. That's not only huge, it's extremely intimidating and quite impressive. A Sober Trail Watch these hikers find the remains of the DC-3 of the Northeast Airline Flight 792, which departed in 1954 and crashed to the ground after it encountered sudden turbulence. 
Here's the wing right there. Although most of the group managed to make it out alive, two lives were lost, and the plane remains abandoned in the woods to honor their memory. But oh my god, that's amazing. All right, let's check inside. The hikers inspected the plane from inside and were quite surprised since it's uniquely undisturbed by nature. Pretty amazing though. Wow, a lot of people. A lot yep. of people have made their way here. It also gives a harrowing glimpse into the incident and how difficult the survival was. Rebujo. A boater captured this video in the Furnas Dam in southwest of Minas Gerais. He was casually cruising along the water when it began to erupt into sudden splashes. At first, he assumed he was being followed by a giant crocodile, or possibly an anaconda. But the moment looked nothing like he'd seen before. Upon closer inspection, he realized the water was erupting into giant air bubbles. The locals call this phenomenon rebujo. It happens when the river is full. It submerges rocks underneath, which hold air. As soon as they're covered with water, the air creates giant bubbles, which look as if countless mysterious creatures were sucking the water from below. Scariest Pet To think the four walls of a house would keep you safe from a giant snake is pretty impossible when you live in Southeast Asia. A reticulated python was seen slowly making its way across someone's roof and settled on the porch. Its sheer size tells us not to mess with the creature, since reticulated pythons don't leave much room for survival, especially since they're that big. But this python didn't emerge out of the blue. Most reticulated pythons don't get this big in the wild, since they have to fend for themselves and food can be pretty scarce, which shows someone has been feeding the python purposefully. Now that's one brave pet owner. Great Abaya you might mistake this creature for an anaconda. After all, the immense size, sheer girth, and an instant feeling of fear makes it very much so. But look, this is no way a giant snake, although it looks like one. This video went viral a while ago. Whoever uploaded it claimed it was the biggest eel in the world. Viewers agreed and called it a real life great abaya, the mysterious moray eel that appears in Stranded Deep a video game. Although this might be the case, I'm not so sure. I tried diving deeper, but I couldn't find anything about who captured it or where. What do you think? Guttural Snake You're not ready for what's about to come out of this gutter. Yup, that's a snake! And a giant one too! We don't know how the snake got inside the gutter, but it was probably caught after a few complaints. But the way it's caught is unique, luring the snake with something and then pulling the cord just as it's trapped. This also prevents the snake from lunging toward people. But I must say, it's quite a thrilling encounter. Goliath Snake Terrified residents in Brazil recorded this giant anaconda slowly making its way from a local lake and creeping onto the grassy land above. Judging by its looks, the anaconda is at least 20 feet, or 6 meters long! That's as tall as three people! Some people even estimated the anaconda was looking for a meal, because this behemoth creature typically only emerges when it's hungry. This only fueled fear in people, who rushed back home. The anaconda returned back into the lake, but now that it's shown itself, people know to avoid the area. A draining sight. Local residents had been complaining about hearing hissing from the drain and complained to the authorities. Almost everyone knew it was a snake since they're quite prevalent in Brazil, but they didn't expect to find an anaconda coiled around itself, almost as if it had specifically molded to fit inside the drain. The anaconda has made its way into the local drains after a couple of days of heavy rainfall in the area. Although most people wanted to get rid of the snake, authorities let it stay since it's much safer for the residents and the creature. Don't worry, 
The anaconda returned to the river after a while. A giant python. A tourist exploring the grassy hills of Belito, South Africa, encountered a giant python calmly slithering away. Just from a distance, you can tell the python is quite large and possibly about 20 feet long. At one point, the snake stopped at its tracks, so the tourist decided to get a closer look. But I guess he startled the snake, which quickly disappeared out of sight. Now, I don't know about you, but a snake this big, moving that fast, is one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Rocking waves. A dramatic event unfolded in front of a group of tourists when their boat began rocking back and forth with rip-roaring waves crashing against the hull. This is a bad idea to be on this boat! <laughs> the tourists were exploring a Mexican canal when a 7.1 earthquake struck the area. People on the boat were terrified. Oh my gosh! But also worried for other tourists, some of which were sitting in kayaks and gondolas and could have easily capsized. It got pretty violent for a second. Water was splashing into the boat. People were freaking out. Everyone was scared because no one knew what was going on. Luckily, the waves calmed down after a bit, and everyone was safe. But it shows how devastating earthquakes can be, even on water. Slimy Blob Discovered by a family in Stanley Park, Vancouver, this mysterious creature has no apparent figure, with no eyes, mouth, or ears, and heaps of slime dripping down its body. Oh, this is horrible. That's pretty awesome, eh? At first, most people assumed it was an unknown creature, or even part of an animal. But Selena Starnes, an expert with the Stanley Park Ecology Society, identified it as a bryozoan. So it's called a bryozoan a type of tiny aquatic animal that often lives together and secretes goo or slime to make a colony. Tiny little animals that secrete this goo, and it's this gelatinous substance that holds the colony together. The slime also acts as a defense mechanism. These great colonies, it's good defense from the primary critter that wants to be eating them. Bryozoans are quite common, but their unique appearance makes them practically invisible. But imagine pulling this slime monster out of a pond. Ugh. Perplexing creature. It's not only Brazil that homes behemoth creatures. Some might be a little closer to home. After parts of Worcester flooded in 2016, some residents captured a mysterious creature splashing in the race course. The water splashed upwards, dramatically shooting as high as 10 feet. Although we can't see it, residents claimed these giant geyser-like bubbles were formed by some creepy creature lurking beneath the waves. Who knows, it might have been a beached animal, or maybe the Loch Ness Monster. Coiling Creature A man was walking his dog when he decided to explore a frozen lake part of which revealed fresh water, where he saw this. At first, he thought it was some sort of fish, but we can pretty much tell it's something else. It coiled and moved weirdly, and even disappeared for a few seconds between its spinning. Now, you might be freaked out, but I did a little bit of research, and I believe it's a hot mineral spring underwater. Here's how it typically looks. But the one we're seeing is trapped under a layer of ice, so it coils around itself and seems to disappear. It's red because the soil contains a lot of iron. Pretty cool, huh? Underwater Rescue A regular day became even more memorable for a group of scuba divers that were exploring the waters south of Cabo, San Lucas in Mexico. The divers came across a whale shark entangled in a thick rope. The rope was wound so tightly, it was almost embedded in the whale shark's skin. Judging by the looks, the poor shark had been bearing the rope for a while, since it was frayed all around and covered in barnacles. The kind-hearted rescuers immediately got to work and cut the rope, finally breaking free the whale shark from a painful imprisonment. Giant Ball 
A giant rubbery ball floated ashore a Canadian beach in Trout River, Newfoundland. The inflated ball expelled a putrid smell, which made it impossible for beachgoers to enjoy the shore. This mysterious thing is actually the carcass of a blue whale that rose to the surface. It inflated because of ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, and methane gases released by bacteria that came to feast on the giant. This mixture of gases also gave it a pungent odor, a sign that the whale was slowly decomposing. Sadly, there's nothing much that could be done. Authorities advised residents to stay away and collected the carcass for further study. Exploding River See, this is why I don't like the ocean. This isn't an exploding river, although it very much looks like one. These waters are infested with piranhas, and anyone who knows piranhas knows these creepy critters won't leave anything behind. They can instantly devour something, leaving behind nothing. So when people throw fish or other meat into the water, they're witnessing the most intense feeding frenzy ever. This makes it even scarier because piranhas react like this to everything, including humans. No thank you! Water Vortex You might have seen whirlpools quite a few times, but have you seen one form this quickly? Barry Cannon captured a whirlpool forming in the Demopolis Lake right alongside the Demopolis Lock and Dam. Water vortexes, or whirlpools, form when opposing currents flow into an obstacle. If you thought that was impressive, check this out. One swimmer found a whirlpool, so he did what only a daredevil would. He dove into the water, giving us a unique glimpse into what happens underneath. An impossible rescue. Residents in Idr, Turkey were shocked after they saw a cow drifting along the waves in a canal. The canal was protected by long fences, so people couldn't dive in to rescue the cow. These fences might also be why the cow couldn't make its way up. The residents didn't waste a second and immediately called rescue services. Even using an excavator was challenging, since the unique depth and design of the canal made it difficult to reach. Luckily, the operator was quite skilled and carefully grabbed the cow, safely pulling it back to dry land. Unwanted Guests A bear was captured with long, white, tape-like extrusions protruding from its body. Now before you mistake it for anything else, let me just warn you, the reality is not for the squeamish. This poor bear is infected with a parasitic tapeworm whose eggs are typically found in salmon. Once the salmon is digested, the tapeworm makes its way to the bear's intestines, where it remains until it's dislodged with the feces. Although in some unfortunate cases, like this one here, the tapeworms don't properly dislodge, so they stick out until the bear manages to pull them out. Baby Sharks a family was fishing in the Hillsborough River when they reeled in a baby bull shark. This was quite a shock, because while the Hillsborough River is home to several marine creatures, no one expects a bull shark to be this close to shore. The family took a few pictures with the shark and released it back into the river, but the sighting gave locals new fears. Bull sharks typically stay away from the shore. Coming close to it might mean they're looking for new territory but experts suggest these sharks probably only come close to the riverbed to birth their pups. Once the sharks are born, they migrate back to home waters. I do not see why they would go all the way up here. A Hiker's Worst Nightmare Mountain lions aren't a stranger to Utah, where residents must be careful lest they encounter one. And this video shows us exactly what happens if you do. The poor hiker accidentally got close to the cubs of a cougar, and although he quickly withdrew, it was too late. The cougar kept following him for miles, lunging close enough, pouncing at him, and hissing menacingly. No! The man tried to dodge the cougar, 
but it was relentless. Go away. No, you sh taste, dude. After what was probably the longest six minutes of the man's life, the mountain lion left him alone. Yeah, get the f away. Luckily, this tells us exactly what to do if you encounter a cougar. Make your presence known, make some noise, and never turn your back. Face. Followed by a predator. A man's relaxing walk in the park took a terrifying turn when he realized he was being followed by a mother grizzly and her two cubs. Walking on the trail, and mom and two cubs. Jeffrey Glasner tried to keep as calm as possible to avoid a scary confrontation. He knew the bear family would leave him alone at one point, but the curious cubs kept moving forward, which only made the protective mother follow cue. Cubs just keep coming. Here we see how to react when you come across a grizzly. Well, one that's calm, that is. You stay calm, turn your face toward the grizzly, and make your way backward. Oh, come on, guys, give me a break. Oh, come on. Luckily, the trio left Glasner alone when they found the nearby stream and stopped to cool off. Walking tree. Imagine finding a walking tree while exploring a forest. This happened to a man who discovered this giant tree almost uprooting itself. It almost looked as if it was about to run away. But this isn't the Whomping Willow. This is just a regular tree that's got a case of too much water. It happens occasionally when the soil is too saturated. Strong winds can easily pull out the tree. But since its roots are still dug pretty deep, the tree remains rooted. Abandoned in the Woods A group of hikers stumbled upon the Piper Cherokee Cruiser that had crashed in the forests close to Bald Eagle Mountain in Pennsylvania in 1986. It's upside down. That's the way it landed. Wow. Although the plane crash isn't a new discovery, it's still pretty sobering, as we can see the remains of the crash strewn across the ground. Yeah, there's the other wing, at least part of it. I think the other wing... It tells the story of a miraculous survival. We gotta carve our names in there yet. John Yatso was flying the plane when strong wings flipped it down in the mountains. Although he was unconscious for a bit and sustained minor injuries, Yatso was able to reach the road where he was taken to the hospital. The plane remains there since the crash site is not easy to reach and can only be accessed by the most skilled hikers. A rapid rescue. An orangutan became stranded in the middle of a river after raging waves blocked its way and prevented any means of escape. The orangutan was shivering from fright and cold and had almost given up before it was finally spotted by some people. They belonged to a group of conservationists who were conducting a survey in the woods. They instantly sprung into action. One of them grabbed a firm log and gently approached the orangutan, which leapt toward help without a moment's hesitation. Frothy River. Coated in white foam, this river in India looks like the clouds fell from the sky. Hundreds of locals bathe in its calm, foamy waves. But the sight, as serene as it looks, isn't as heartwarming as it seems. The foam is created by toxic waste dumped into the Yamuna River by industries and even untreated wastewater. And yes, the locals know this, but they still take a dip in its frothy waves because the Yamuna River is highly venerated in Hinduism. According to the belief, a goddess, Yamuna, blessed the water, so bathing in it frees you of any torments in the hereafter. Well, let's hope the river cleans up soon. Climbing against the current. These are the most resilient fish in the world. Look how they climb against the current. To be able to bear the intensity of waves against you and still emerge is quite impressive. 
These fish are the Oman Gara, which have adapted to survive the turbulent waters of Arabia. They emerge from pools after flooding to move to safer areas, and do so by climbing the walls, sucking on algae to anchor themselves. Amazing! Drowning Plains In 2014, river rafters on the Clark Fork River came across three Boeing fuselages that had been dumped into the river. The fuselages were on their way to be assembled, but the train carrying them derailed off the tracks and plunged into the river. Luckily, the crew escaped, but coming across this site was certainly shocking for onlookers. The fuselages were later picked up, but I'm guessing it cost the train and the Boeing company a few billion dollars. Disappearing River Tourists were exploring a local river in India when it magically disappeared from their sight. Part of the river was gushing intensely, but where it was supposed to lead into a stream, the river simply stopped existing. Is this black magic? A mirage? Or just the camera's angle? Well, it's just complicated geology. The river isn't going into another dimension. Uh, well, kind of. It simply is sucked into sinkholes and narrow crevices in the rock, and emerges from a certain distance. The phenomenon is actually quite common, but extraordinarily bewitching. Weird Turtle this man dove into a swamp and pulled out one of the weirdest turtles I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, just look. I had to seriously check if it was even a turtle. Well, this is the Mata Mata Turtle, and it was caught by Ernie Brown Jr., who appeared on the show Call of the Wild to demonstrate his bravado. Steak and tenderloin here and probably beef there. And the Mata Mata Turtle is endemic to South America, it has a flattened face with a knobby shell. Even its neck has weird fringes. So, it's quite the striking reptile. It's time for our open discussion. Construction workers in Brazil discovered a massive anaconda from a cave. The anaconda measured 33 feet long, making it the biggest of its species discovered so far. Sadly, the green anaconda had passed away, but was able to terrify onlookers even after its demise. The colossal creature weighed 900 pounds, so authorities had to bring in a crane to lift it. They removed the creature from the scene and took it to research what caused its tragic demise, and hoped to get insight on this slithery creature and its life. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon not to miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.